There's four of them. I was going to say the alligator eats the bigger number, so that's... Because 18 is bigger than 15, but 9 is definitely good. There we go. All right. What's the matter? Okay. No, you can talk. It's all right. Everybody's talking to each other. We're all friendly here, right? This is... This is beautiful out here. That's why we get to talk to each other. It is so nice. And I like that um, you guys invited us. Because, I mean, I could have stayed home and enjoyed myself tonight. But this is, <laughs> this is way better. <laughs> oh, man. Let's do this. So um, I work a lot of cruise ships. I work I work a lot of cruise ships. Anybody else work uh, go on cruises up there? Yeah? A lot of it's cool. I love that. I never... Like I've done, I just did my 263rd cruise. That's how many I've done. And I've been all over the world, and them. they're super fun. Um, I'm one of the. Uh, I actually got Cruise Line Comedian of the Year last year, which was pretty cool. And then, uh, yeah, and so you guys could get me. That's a pretty big deal. Um, so that was exciting. I, uh, but I, uh, I work. They booked me on a lot of the charter cruises. What's going on back there? Sylvia, sit down, damn it. Quit talking to people. There's a show on for Christ's sake. Sylvia, you're like that person at the movie theater that they're just like, shut up, lady, sit down. Did you forget the show was still going? Stay off the ground. Sylvia, sit down. Stay a while. Are you leaving? It's past your bedtime. Oh, she's got to go, yeah. The pills are set, and that's what's going on. She's got to refill the ground. All right. Oh, somebody new. Hi. Oh, look at you. are adorable, too. All right. If we could use some glasses, you'd be perfect. Um, all right. I work a lot of cruises. I book um, charter cruises, too. Do you guys know what that means? Yeah. It means a group will rent out the whole ship. So, like, I did the... I have a mic and you're louder than me, dude. That's just, I don't want to interrupt you though, so if you got something cool to say, please go ahead, man. I don't. I love. Oh, you don't? Okay. Okay, you're cool, bro. I like that you just let another dude with a beard bigger than yours sit with you guys. That was pretty nice. That was cool. Everybody sits with each other. I like that. All right. Should I keep going or you guys want? Because where I'm from, we have manners. I don't know if you guys ever heard of that. That's <laughs> uh, this is a good time where everybody goes. Everybody, line up. Magic finger and get in line. <laughs> I don't care. They were nice and quiet about it. They all were in a row. Did you like say it? Say it. All right. Sylvia and that guy got to go talk for a little bit. <laughs> Yo, Derek. Watch myself. Okay. Derek, be good. Sylvia, this is the board. <laughs> Sylvia, sit your ass down. <laughs> Why are you getting up right now? Do you were you uncomfortable or something? Do you think I can't see you or something? <laughs> she just put her hands over her eyes and like he can't see me now. I disappear when this happens. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna keep going and pretend like nothing happened. <laughs> just, I feel like we were at a Thanksgiving and somebody smacked grandma or something. <laughs> it got real awkward for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Sylvia, what is wrong with you? Jesus, she's like dumping shit all over. Those people have been so nice back there. Leave them alone. <laughs> I know it isn't your fault. It's hers. I know it's not your fault, buddy. Oh, Sylvia, she's like your special one in this group, isn't she? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sylvia, who let you out tonight? Get back in home. <laughs> Alright, well, well I, I can finish if you guys want me to end. I can just end. No, I don't have to no, keep. No. Alright, I'll keep going then. Thank you. I work. <laughs> I, 
What are you doing, darling? Just go sit back down. What are, you, are you inching closer to me like I don't see you or something? I'm going to do what you did. Now you can't see me. So, <laughs> mm. <laughs> you're special. I love you. You're just, you're so adorable. I just I feel like you're that person that's in everybody's family. They're like, just let her do it. Just let her do what she's going to do. <laughs> I am that bitch. Okay. We know. Does she need to pee again? Do you want to see me or not? No, I didn't want to see you, no. Oh. <laughs> I want to see you go back and sit down. <laughs> Somebody help me. You look so nice tonight, too. You look so nice. Yeah. Hurt. I love them too, man. This is... <laughs> I love all of you guys. Oh, you're not in trouble. We're just, you know, they're paying for this. So. <laughs> oh, hi. Yeah, you guys can see Sylvia anytime. This is, she's, she feels like I'm upstage and that's why I have their. Oh man, now this has gotten weird. All right. Let's get a little more drinks in us and then I'm going to drive fast. Yeah! Woo! Mm. That does taste like sex on the beach, doesn't it? Yeah! Oh. Thanks, Patricia. Like the pansy. Okay, just wait, just wait. <laughs> <laughs> the crazy thing is, that's my aunt, and I just—I can only bring her so many places, and this happens every time. Oh, you can go out trying to catch her. That my friends do it. Fred, no, don't go to the bathroom again. No. Oh, okay. All right. Can I keep going? Is that cool with you guys? Yeah. All right, I appreciate it. You, thank you for taking care of that, Patsy. I didn't want her to leave. I just wanted her to sit down, that's all. Um, but I get it. It's exciting to have somebody. Do they do that to you, Trace, when you're up here doing music and shit? I want her to go away. So. Okay, okay. You do, actually. Thank you. I got you. I tried going and sleep, but that didn't work either. So. What was I talking about, Cutie? You've been so sweet and polite right there the whole night. Oh, cruise Yeah, that's right. That's right. All right. Let's try this again. How many people been on cruises? Anybody been on a cruise? Oh, wow. Look at that. A lot of these. I don't know if you guys heard, but I work a lot of cruises. Yeah. <laughs> I just did Kid Rock's cruise last year. I did uh, Dynasty's cruise. Oh, yeah. It was fun. It was a lot of quack quack, and I love Jesus all week. And uh, <laughs> but this is weird. I've done a bunch of these. I worked a lot of nudist and swinger cruises. Oh, I have. They have them out there, and uh, that's where I recognize you guys from. <laughs> uh, oh, you're all dressed tonight. That's why. You got clothes on. I've done a lot of nudist ones, and I'm not nudist by any means. But I'm ordained. I've done a bunch of weddings, yeah. and there was a uh, couple getting married on the cruise, and they said, "Would you do our wedding?" I was like, "Oh my god, I'd love to." And they said, "Well, but we want you to be naked." And I was like, "I don't, I don't think I can do that." <laughs> I did it. I did it. <laughs> I did it. But it was a black guy getting married, so I wore a sash. I wore a sash. It's a wedding, not a competition. So it's, mm. But the people that been on cruises back me up on this. The excursions are like the fun thing to do other than the buffet, right? The excursions are fun. Now, if you've done an excursion out there, yell out your favorite one. Whatever one you've ever done, yell them out, your favorite one. You've done River, done River Falls? I've done that too. That's fun. Very dangerous too, but it's fun. Anybody else? You swim with pigs? Who did that? Raise your hand. 
Oh, you guys did the pig one? That one's fun. And then there's, and then you go to the beach where there's actual pigs too. That one's fun too. That one's pretty cool. Um, I did, uh, I rode horses on the beach one time. That was, has anybody ever done this? And made rode horses? It is, oh, you have? Was it in Mexico? Rotan, same thing. It's pretty much Mexico, yeah. Uh, that's Honduras, right? It's, yeah, yeah, that's the same thing. It's, same. Uh, it's always a Spanish girl running the show, but they don't give you any information. Yep, and that's, that's, uh, that's basically Mexico light. That's what that is. That's cold Mexico, is what that is. You did, you rode horses on the beach in Mexico? I don't, I don't believe, or in, I mean in Alaska? That, that can't, are you sure there are horses? And not like sled dogs or something? It's, wow, I've never, I didn't even know they had it up there. It, do they, they don't give you any information, that's what I don't like, they just pass out horses. They're just like, here's yours, yours, Trace, Quattro, whatever the fuck they're saying, right? And then they got to me and they had questions. She's like, um, excuse me, are you over 150 pounds? <laughs> and I was like, um, excuse me, do you want a throat punch, girl? Because I haven't been 150 pounds since third grade, so yeah, bring out the big one, all right? All of a sudden, the Budweiser theme starts up, and stable doors bust open, and Clydesdale comes out through a puff of smoke and looks at me, and he's just like, ah, oh, shit. You can tell he's bummed out, and now I'm bummed out because my horses and all my friends are pissing themselves because they're on My Little Ponies with names like Sunshine and Rainbow, and my guy's name's Big Hoss. He's got a neck tattoo and he's vaping the whole time. Like, this is a badass horse, man. Now we gotta ride him up and down the beach. Did you guys go up and down the beach a few times? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My friends did too. Me and Big Hoss, we just stood there and watched everybody. <laughs> he didn't move. It was awesome. And then the Spanish girl smacks him on the ass. So he takes off running. We go about 20 feet. Lays down. He's done. Done. She comes over. She goes, "What'd you do?" I goes, "What'd I do? We're fat, bitch. We're taking a break." Like El Gordo, right? That's, which means fat in Spanish. So she goes, "I said we're done, right?" She said, "No, you get to ride him out to the ocean." Did you guys do that? You guys, you did it too. You guys rode out to the ocean. I thought they were lying. I thought this was made up. They made us get off the horses, they took the saddles and the reins off, now we gotta ride bareback, which I've never ridden bareback in my life, ever. So, well, <laughs> I've never ridden a horse bareback before, right? And it's not easy, because women, you say a woman ever rode a horse bareback? Yeah, the girls, you can do it, it's not difficult. What's the worst that can happen, you get a cleft palate? It's not a big deal, right? It's, <laughs> I wasn't sure you guys would even get that joke, but you guys, you're way cooler than I'm giving you credit for. I'm sorry. That was awesome. It's a good visual, too. You're just like, oh, I like that. But for dudes, way different. It's like they're, like, this, the shoulder blades on the Clydesdale are humongous. So he's racking my nuts like he's playing nine ball down there. And we get out to the sandbar, and the Spanish girl goes, we got games to play. And I'm like, uh, I hope it's first back to shore, because that's what we're doing. She said, swimming with the horses. That's what we're going to do. Did you guys do that, too? Oh my God, I thought this was bullshit. Okay, so you must have been on the same shitty excursion I was. They made it, I said, like, we just get off and swim around the horses? She said, no, you stay on them. We pull them out over their head. They swim with you on their back. I go, me and Big Hoss aren't doing that. She said, I told you they do it all the time. And he looks right back at me. He's like, no, we don't. Uh, <laughs> I've never even been in the water before. It's, it's kind of bull. You kind of hurt my back, to be honest. Uh, he, he, my friends are tired. They're like, let us go first because we want to watch Rob. So they do it. Now, could you do it okay? You're skinny, so you probably didn't have any, either of you women. It's probably easy for you guys. 
But me and Big Hoss, he was not moving. And I'm a bit of a horse whisperer, so I'm kind of in his ear, like, fucking stay here, you know? So, but again, that Spanish girl wasn't having it. So she started to yank him by his um, uh, horse face or something. I don't know what you call this part, but his brajo. I don't know what brajo is, but she's yanking him by his brajo. And uh, he's like, it's not called a brajo. <laughs> So he gets all pissed, he goes right up on his hind legs, his head hits me in the brow hole, and then I fall off, he runs back to the sandbar, I start bleeding. In the ocean! Yeah. It's one drop of blood I've seen Shark Week, that's all they, can, that's all they need. And I, I'm freaking out, so I'm swimming my ass off trying to get back to the sandbar. Everybody's laughing, having a good time. I'm, I'm like, we gotta go. And the Spanish girl's like, no, no, we got more games to play. And uh, that's my Spanish accent. I feel like I crushed it. <laughs> we got more games to play. And, uh, <laughs> and I'm like, uh, El Bledo Bicho, bitch, let's go. <laughs> I don't know Spanish really well, but I feel like I'm, I was close. She was like, oh my god, you are Bledo. So she goes, I nailed it first try. So she said, this last game will get you up to short quicker. It's called horse skiing. Did you guys do this? Yeah, because they made it up. It's bullshit. <laughs> get behind the horse. The horse's tail's got a bit of a bone at the base. You hold on to that bone. The little Spanish fool duck gets up on the horse. <laughs> If you don't know Spanish, I just yeah. call her a bitch in Spanish. But she gets on, rides up as fast as she can up the shore, and then you're supposed to stay behind holding on. Does, does that sound fun to anyone? Because my friends didn't think so either, because they're like, you can let Rob go first. Yes. I'm telling you guys, when you're bleeding and you're in the ocean, everything behind you looks like a shark. So she goes, are you ready? And I'm like, yeah. And she goes, hey! And as soon as she said that, apparently in horse terms, that means go ahead and shit on him. Because immediately, just road apples coming right at me. Yeah, how do you think I felt? I had to see it 3D. It's just, I'm screaming, I'm like, no, no. I hear her laugh, and she's like, happy, keep your mouth closed. I was like, oh, the worst excursion ever, don't ever do it. It's the worst. Unless you're in Canada or Alaska, their, their shit probably freezes immediately. So, <laughs> just die from the apples. <laughs> oh, you guys are fun, man. You guys are letting me get away with a lot tonight, too, which I appreciate, man. I love that. I love it. Don't you think it's like the way we have to live now is just bullshit? How about we just start treating each other nice instead of being assholes? That's where we should start, right? Yeah. I don't get it, man. I'm, I'm probably taking some shit too far. Was anybody here used to be a teacher? Any teachers out there? Yeah, oh, really? Oh, you're gorgeous, too. What grade did you teach? Third grade. So they kind of start to become assholes, right? Third grade. Oh, they still love you at third grade? Okay. Awesome. Was this one of your students sitting next to you? Oh, congratulations. You're getting your day. Um, third grade. So you. You might be able to back me up on this too, because when we were little, like I don't know, you don't guys don't look that much older than me if you are at all. But I, uh, I just I didn't know this was a thing because I've never had kids. But like I got a nephew and he told me something. I didn't know this was a thing. Kids can still sit this way, but you cannot call it Indian style anymore, right? Did you know that? Well, no. Back when you taught, it was probably still Indian style. Do you know what it is now? Did you hear him? Crisscross applesauce. Whatever the hell that's supposed to be. It sounds delicious. It sounds like a cobbler. Like, if we go to grandma's, there better be some crisscross applesauce waiting for me. It sounds so good. And then they tell them to do something with their hands, too. Do you know what it is? 
usually hands in your lap or something. You basically, don't smack a bitch. That's what they're saying, right? Like, <laughs> keep your hands to yourself. But some teachers get very creative with this. The best one I've ever heard was in Oklahoma. A teacher had a poem. She would go crisscross applesauce, pockets on the floor, hands in your lap, and talk no more. And I was like, oh, that's adorable. But some teachers are dumb as shit, man. Like in California, they say crisscross applesauce, hands in your apple box. <laughs> like, what? What? This is an apple box? Because I'm going to be honest, I think there's a banana in some people's or, or a plantain or something. There's something. There's. There's a worm coming out of the apples, I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> All over the country they would say weird shit. Wisconsin's the spoons in the cereal bowl. Um, Missouri's the grossest. They say crisscross applesauce, hands in the chocolate sauce. Oh, I'm like, dude, if there's chocolate sauce, you, you probably gotta clean that kid up first. <laughs> Sounds like he had an accident. I don't know. I don't think Native Americans really give a shit that we say Indian stuff. I say that because my family up in Michigan, we're Ojibwe. It's a very popular yeah. Indian where I'm from. Yep. And so we're we're not a lot. We're 12.5%. But, I mean, I've been scalped, so I feel like I can say, you know. <laughs> Does anybody out there have some real Native American besides me? Anybody? Yeah, she does? Awesome. What, what brand are you? Or not brand. Um, <laughs> tribe. What tribe? Chippewa. That's a real one. I've heard of that one. That's my, that's in the song, right? My baby, she's Chippewa. She's one of the kind. Yeah. That's a good one. I also went to Central Michigan, and we were the Chippewas, too. So that's... What, what's your percentage of Chippewa? Woo! As the chief. Do you, do you know your percentage? Quarter? Um, pretty sure that's a fraction. Um, so that's 25% is the answer for you. I didn't have to have the teacher help me on that. But, yeah. If you don't know how to figure it out, I can help you. <laughs> so... <laughs> Like, your parents are probably 50%, then you're 25, so that's how that works. Uh, well, thank you for being here. That's, that's a lot. That's more than I got, so that's pretty cool, man. What, what, uh, no, you got, why do you keep hiding behind him? I can see you, dipshit. <laughs> he's like hiding behind you, bro, and every time I move, he's like, ooh, you can't see me. He's trying to use the Sylvia technique. <laughs> Dude, you should be proud of that, man. Now, are you, is this your wife? Or which one? Are you married? That's your wife? Awesome. So you got, are you also a native? No. Okay, so you got your little squaw. That's kind of cute. That's, all right. You're not Indian, but you have it, didn't you? So that's, that's kind of <laughs> That was too easy. That was too easy. Oh, uh, you guys got kids? Because you got to pass that 25% on. How many kids you guys got? Can you hear me? <laughs> the Indian, how many kids you got? You got five kids? Holy shit! It's nice to see you sitting upright for once. Jesus. Five kids. <laughs> so you got one little, two little, three. <laughs> I love that most of these are laughing right now that, but poor your granddaughter probably has never even heard that song before That's, I feel bad for her what's your name again? Rayleigh? Riley. Riley why don't you forgive me Riley did you know that song you did know it oh cause you got a cool grandma she probably said it to you when you were a little that's probably why uh, they don't teach it in school, though, anymore, do they? They don't teach us. How did you learn to count if you didn't know that song? That's, right? You use your fingers, but you lose a finger. You're screwed. It's, they don't teach it. Hey, by the way, I'm almost done, by the way. You guys were really fun. Thank you for having us. This is the first ever comedy show here, which is pretty cool. Yeah. I hope you 
you guys keep trying out more comedy, that'd be cool. I'll probably never come back, but you try out other. You guys could have some other. <laughs> I'll come back if you guys have me sometime. That'd be cool. Um, yeah, and then on the way out too, I got little cards over there with my websites and stuff. You can grab them; they're free. Um, I'm on all the social media and stuff. And uh, don't give Sylvia one, but I'd rather see you guys can take one. Uh, question? Yes, question. Yeah, if you brought a sharpie, I didn't bring one, so. Well, I'm Indian. I can just prick my finger and use my blood if that's cool with you. Say that again. Be transparent. Be transparent? Okay. Well, I didn't get that joke. I missed it. But you have glasses, so you can say whatever you want, darling. I'm cool with that. Oh, you have a guy with glasses, too. Look at all the kids. Adorable. Do you guys have kids? Do you? Yeah, you guys. Not together. Is that how you guys do it here? You're just like, hey. How many kids do you have? Two? Me too. Let's never have another one. <laughs> Pretty unique. Well, yeah, I don't know what you said, but I'll sign it for you if that makes it. Yeah, you're welcome. For sure. There's a birthday boy here? Oh, happy birthday! Very cool. What, what, what birthday is it for you? 69. Oh, no way! Have you met Sherry? Uh, happy birthday! Oh, look, I'm standing up. He's like, let's take a gander at this one. Hawaii Steve! That's what his name is, Hawaii Steve? Yep. Awesome. Have you been to Hawaii, Steve? Is that why they call you that? Absolutely. Okay. This, you guys are pretty creative with your naming up here. This, this is Glasses Judy, and this is <laughs> like an Hawaii, Steve. Well, happy birthday, Steve. You got a decent birthday. It's not a bad one. February 1st, that's a good birthday. Mine's Christmas Eve. That's, that's a shitty birthday, man. It's horrible. Has anybody else got a shitty one like that? Do you? What day is yours? You got 26? Oh man, you ever get combination gifts? Every year, the worst. Last year, my mom got me a pair of tennis shoes, but only gave me the left one, you know? Just, <laughs> don't go guessing what you're getting for Christmas. <laughs> a broken ankle? What the hell, man? You think Jesus got crappy gifts growing up? I bet he did. I bet Jesus, not Alex, not your, not your cousin. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Did anybody get that? Okay. Yeah. It was, uh, I bet Jesus got crappy gifts. He'd be like, frankincense again? Oh, thanks for the bracelet, Mom. What would I do? What? <laughs> oh, Ford just got that joke. That's good. That's good. We asked for a bunch of heat. Sherry got that joke, and you guys did it. Let's get out of here. Um, so I was talking about the, the Indian thing, the, the song. They don't teach that to kids anymore. That bums me out, man, because it was a big hit when we were little. you know. And I noticed when I started singing it, you guys were all like, hell yeah. I don't know a lot of songs, but I know that one. <laughs> we could probably all sing it and blow her and Riley's mind, but we're not going to. Let's not sing it because I feel like you guys would get too into it and then we'd have to do rounds and shit. So. They don't teach it to kids anymore because they say it's insensitive. That's what it's insensitive. I don't know. I don't feel it. I'm Indian. I don't. Do you feel it's insensitive? No. Chippewa. I've never had one Indian ever tell me it's not even a hundred percent or one over one ever say it's. Insensitive. That's the fraction for him. So. <laughs> one over one. That was genius. Anyways. They don't say it. They say it's insensitive. To me, the song works. Like, it worked for us. We all know that song. We can all count. But if, let's say it is insensitive, I don't want anybody to be upset by it, but that song works. Why don't we just include everyone? Then nobody can be pissed off about it, right? It still works. It'd be like, one little, two little, three little white kids, four little, five little, six little black kids, seven little, eight little, nine little Mexicans, one twenty-five percent Chippewa. Everybody drop little. Thank you so much for having me guys. Have a good night. Thank you, Tracy, for yourself.
Joseph from England. And thanks to Kurt and Billy for bringing me to letting you guys know about us. Have a good night.